as we look towards Ethel 31, Lord Sea, and we start. Oh, it's cold. So it's cold the other day. Still got my Benny on. Might have to put an extra layer on. We're heading towards Ethel number 32. Ethel number 32, when we get there, it will be brown and null. <laughs> Don't let your nose when doing this. I want to give a big shout out to uh, Dan Cunningham. I watched him last night and I'm like, I'm stuck. How do I get to Brown Knoll? Because to me, I would have to park down at Chinley, walk out past Mount Famine South Head to get there. Which is one way of doing it. And then Dan says, I ain't going by the Lord's seat. And I'm like, God, you're right. The trouble with me and the Ethels is I see them in the abstract. Whereas Dan, having walked them all, I think sees them more as a, a whole. Lasses work of interconnected ethels. But yeah, that's done. Makes it easier. I assume <laughs> I assume once you're on Lord's seat and I walk around, it's pretty much on the flat. Well as flat as it can be up here, I suppose, but there we go. But one thing we do know is we should pass the ventilation shaft for the railway that runs beneath the hill. There we do. I'll stop and point it out. That'd be obvious because I'm filming as well, isn't it? Oh, hey! One stick in hand. Only another way to fall over, eh? Anyway, never looked after these paths because to me, it looks like a brand new gate. Sticking way it does look like a brand new gate, doesn't it? Well, back can't see much and then we look forward here we go not much to film here really oh yes there is now beautiful over there but when you're stuck between a rock and a hard case there's not much to see there so, views open up a bit. And then, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not being mistaken with the bars. Up there is the uh, ventilation for the railway. But, I'll find out. Actually, gravel bath gives way. I mean, the mantle's over there somewhere, and I've come all the way around there. But if you've gone straight across there, it would probably take you twice as long. And now we're on the paved path. 
pros and cons, isn't there? Yeah, it's uh, it's also getting all boggy and everything. It means more people enjoy it, but I find it harder on the old joints than anybody else's feelings are. But it's still fresh. Things that night filming over there. Don't know. Find out later. But yep, yeah. walking the path now. Walking the wild side. Just turn around, look back on myself. I see there's no one. Absolutely no one. Chimney's off down that way somewhere. Voices. Oh, you know, I just said <laughs> I can see no one. That's Great Ridge, by the way, just cut around. So I can see no one. And then, as it by magic, loud people. <laughs> oh, you can't expect solitude, can't expect quiet. God, aren't people loud? Anyway, I was in Upwards. <laughs> you just think it's funny that I stopped to film to say there's absolutely no one. Oh well. <laughs> Catch you in a bit. Don't get me wrong. Wind was blowing in my direction. Yeah. Organised tour at hospital. Good that they're getting out. I can't remember like a lot of this when I was in school. So. Looking back over. Well, you know where, don't you? Obviously, I'm tall. Onwards and upwards. I'm trying to. I know the oh, I'm going to that paths again, aren't I? Walk in the paths, open the joint. Joints. If I wasn't walking on the paths, I'd probably be knee deep in bog. So, yeah. Can't use your hiking poles, trekking poles. Because you get them stuck in between the slabs. I suppose you blunt them as well. So. I can feel the path more, shall we say. So, another wind. It's an observation. Isn't that nice? Hikers, very affable, as all hikers seem to be. As I said before, I haven't, I haven't come across one that hasn't shot the breeze, said hello, yeah, even the thought runners, you know. Walk down the street and say hello to someone in your local town, and they'll look at the floor or I think you're going out to lunch. Up here, it's different. Up here, we're all doing the same thing. All enjoying the nature, the breeze, <laughs> the cool breeze. Still in the middle there, so it isn't that cold. Oh, look at those views. Look over. Let's see, 
house. Very picturesque. Very picturesque. Onwards. Mount Famine and South Ed over there, which means that if Chinley Churn, it's got to be over there. So, Famine, South Ed, which means that this is Brown Knoll. Hello there. Brown Knoll. 569 metres. That's a steady stream, very affable people. Out here. There's that, um, that vent for the, the railway that's running in the tunnel underneath us. It's obscure from the path quite a lot. We're back that way, which isn't a problem because until I get up there, Brown Knoll, I'm off. I'll be halfway. Go on, because I'll be there, so I'll be halfway. Yeah, Mount Famine, South Head. That's Chimley Churn. That's Chimley Churn behind it, isn't it? Chimley Churn's not over there. I can see the um, spoil heaps to the left. So you've got South Head, Mount Famine, Chinley Churn. And then Brown Knoll. It all comes together. Nice one done, thank you. I've uh, zoomed in. I have to see it with the naked eye now. But that is definitely Chinley Churn over there. So Mount Famine, Chinley Churn, South Head disappearing behind Brown Knoll. Yeah, I would have done this as a single out and back, and then we'll see. There's another one. What an empty. All right, we live and learn. We live and learn. It's beautiful. It really is. It's. I wouldn't say it's cold. Well, yeah, I would say it's cold. Is it cold, cold? Can't find, can't form sort of frosty breath, so it's not that cold. I'm still in my galette. I haven't bought, put my puffy on yet. I mean, it's, 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 so yeah, no, I'm not that cold. I just got distracted, as I always do. It's the simple things that, Get me is beautiful, just simple things like a meandering path. Cheers. Anyway, it's not getting me up there, is it? That's up an atom. It's beautiful when you come over the last rise. You look back over all that. See, a looming up brown knoll, 569 meters. I was reflecting on the way up here, then being a third of the way through, and that when I started. I managed Mantor from the bottom of Mantor. I was absolutely wiped out. Here I am. Over two and a half stone lighter. Gazing over towards Mount Famine, Chinley Churn, South Ed. To me, that is a thing of beauty. 
I don't know. Five hundred sixty nine meters. Oh, bananas. Who knows? But why do people do that? I mean, you say you like nature, don't you just come and dump stuff? But I'm not going to let that take this away from me. We will not let it take away from us. Brown Null. Ethel. Number 32. Ease me face. Ethel, number 32. Get in. Oh, I don't know how good that feels. 34% ground null. I mean, it's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Step down. Thirty four per cent. Officially over a third of the way through. It might not mean a lot to people watching or to people not watching. But it means a lot to me. Thirty four per cent. Way to go. So, Brown Knoll, Ethel 32. I bid you adieu. I take it that's uh, going over Kinder over that way, Kinder Scout. I haven't got the time, I've got the energy, but I haven't got the time. As always, traffic to and from. Got to get back. But, especially over a third of the way, please a sponge. The road! Oh, 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 see? Not on onto my sticks. The road back. Begin. It's a long road. It's a road of satisfaction, a road of achievement. And that, to me, makes it worth it. A nice little trick. How oh, beautiful. Beautiful, Bernard. Oh, I'm getting all that. Oh, sense of achievement, I don't know. 34%. I mean, the 33%, Lord's sake. You'd say that's the third, but it's not. Because it'll have to be 33 and a third. One last time. Round off. Another cheeky little left in the back. It wasn't really cheeky like that, I thought, was it? I mean, you walk from Old Mantle up Lord's Sea all the way along over the top of the tunnel, many hundreds of feet below. 
Start. So it's not a chicken little Ethel. It's a lovely Ethel. And it's been a very good day. When you come out and it's too hot, you're sweating buckets. You're getting tired of quick air. But as it's turning to autumn, and you've got this crispness to the air. I've just got to see it one last time. I know, sad. I'm sad. I don't like that. You've got the crispness to the air. I haven't actually had a slurp of water or juice or anything. And uh, I've been walking for a couple of hours. And like I said, when I started this, when I started the Ethel Challenge, the very first week, I couldn't walk to Van Tour from the broken road. Couldn't do it, wasn't capable. Covid messed my lungs up, unfit, so I'm fit now really. But I just couldn't do it. The next week, I was determined to do it. I got at Mantor, came back down again. Went to bed for two days, absolutely wiped out. Problem is, is I've got chronic rheumatoid arthritis. And uh, this does take it out of me. I accept that. What am I to do? Do I sit at home in the chair and wait for the inevitable? Or do I say, sod it. Let's deal with the pain best I can and get out there. So that's what I do. And that's what I've done. And tomorrow, I'm going to pay for it. And tomorrow, I'll probably be thinking, why did I do that? But today, today, I mean, what would you say? Look at that. Today is a beautiful day. It certainly is. One last look. Brown Knoll on the way back. Nice little I mean, they're playing, they're playing. Nice little Ethel. Nice walk. Yeah, good one, that. Well, that's definitely chilly, Jern. Right. So, let's get at it. Bit of a long walk ahead of me, and as far as I've come, logically, that's how I know it's a long way. Well, it feels it to me anyway. There we are, that's my view now. A lovely day. I put my extra layers on, so it's in my breath. Can't see it through the camera, but yeah, I'm starting to see it. But there you go. I can tell I'm getting tired, my brain's gone. Well, there you go, Brown Knoll. It was nice. It was nice. Catch you all in a bit. I'm starting to slacking off now. Board seat. Mantle. So beautiful. Old seat up there. You can 
can see Ground Null in the background and then a long walk back but uh, everywhere seems to be up hills doesn't it? That just a beautiful view. Brown Knoll and Lord Seat, but not in that order. I know when I was up at Brown Knoll, I was like, I feel fine. I could go on. Don't feel tired at all. But those paved sections, I know whether they're there, it's boggy, if they weren't there, you'd spend all your time in the bog, I'd go on. I get that, all the time the bog. Uh, uh, I get that, but play hell with me, I'll throw it. That's probably the worst I've felt once I got back to the car for quite a while. Don't get me wrong, loved it. Loved it. You're never going to believe you've just forgotten how many Ethels it is. Ethels number 31 and 32, which puts me officially just past a third of the way through, 34%. But Ethels 31, 32, absolutely brilliant. Um, like I said, I'm tired now. Um, but uh, achieved it. That's really what it is, a sense of achievement. I mean, I'm looking out there at Mantle and thinking, you know, middle of June, I couldn't walk off it. Middle of June, I failed. The week after, I struggled a lot in doing the uh, the Great Ridge with uh, Anita. Um, but... Now we're in September, or the end of September, 34% through. Yeah, 66% 6, 6 to go. Um, well aware of that. Um, but, you know, 34%. 32 ethyls down. Really, really enjoyed that one. Hard work coming back. Um, Hard work across the stones. Very, very enjoyable. And if you're still watching, please think about liking and subscribing. It will help me. Everybody says that, you know, but YouTube's got me in Afghanistan. So even if I got one pence per video, I wouldn't get it because it says I'm in Afghanistan when I'm not. Uh, don't know why. Can't figure out why. Who knows? So, um, it's not just the views, is it? I just hope people enjoy a bit of what I enjoy, which is the Ethels. So, until next time, look after yourselves. I'll catch you later.